Welcome to the next speaker. Uh, it's be back. Yeah, <laughs> and so we're going to have a um, let him speak for about 30, 35 minutes, and then we're going to have a quick Q and A. When, if for some reason you think of questions after, you can always tweet or X, whatever it's called, <laughs> at YVR WordCamp. So here we go. Okay. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Vivek Sapkota. So I'm representing WordPress community Nepal. So uh, I just want to mention it in the beginning. English is my secondary language. So if you have any confusion or like if you want me to slow down so that you would understand better, you can just let me know. So I have bachelor's of science in computing from London Metropolitan University. And I work as a chief business officer at Aramba IT Research Center, Nepal, back home. Also, I run a blog called atjournal.com. It is basically mindfulness and spirituality magazine. So I run it with my girlfriend. So I'm actively involved in WordPress community since 2014 as a community builder, organizer, speaker, and mentor. So uh, as a matter of fact, so far I have organized five word camps, and I have I spoken to four word camps, and like I have organized like more than 60 meetups, and then a lot of community gathering and like uh, related activities back home. So today I shall be talking about our success story of building, growing, and sustaining WordPress community in Nepal. So uh, not a lot of people know about Nepal because we are a very small country all the way from global south. So Nepal is officially the Federal Democratic Republic of Nepal. So it is landlocked country in between um, uh, uh, Tibet and India. So northern part is uh, high Himalayas, and then the southern part is connected with India. And like Nepal is home to eight of the highest peak in the world. Like there are 14 highest peak over 8,000 meters, and like eight are in Nepal, including Mount Everest. And like Nepal is home to Lord Buddha as well. Like it is birthplace of Gautam Buddha, and uh, he was a Nepali prince. So talking more about Nepal, Nepal is a multilingual, multicultural, multiracial, and multi-religious country. And it is a country of living goddess called Kumari. So we have a living goddess. So she is called Kumari. Uh, so uh, in the background, you can see the peace stupa. So it is a uh, uh, stupa located in Kathmandu, the capital city of Nepal. So we call it Baudhanath Stupa. So you can just go there, pray there, stay there for a while. Like they have very peaceful surrounding and everything. So you can learn a lot about uh, Buddhism and then like uh, teaching of Buddhas. And then you can pray there. You can like yeah vibe around there. So before getting into WordPress community, so I would like to talk. A uh, few things about IT service export industry we have in Nepal. So since I have already mentioned, Nepal is a tiny landlocked country. So we have very limited access to like trade ac across the globe. And then like mostly we rely upon agriculture and tourism industry. So uh, lately, um, we have been exporting like significant amount of IT infrastructure and IT services. Uh, so last year, uh, we exported around 515 million worth of IT services. Uh, given that we have very limited access to infrastructure, like we have very limited universities. In fact, we just have five universities, mostly related with uh, political science or democracy or uh, agriculture or something like that. Uh, but then like uh, it was quite um, uh, unexpected result, like pleasantly unexpected result that uh, although the government and like uh, related sector has uh, invested very less amount on the tech and innovation sector, uh, we were able to export uh, services worth 515 million given that our economy is very small very like our like total budget gdp and everything is very small uh, but then like this was a significant contribution and it contributes around 4% to our gdp so 
yeah and like it was done by 160 it expert services services companies 14728 it freelancer in software uh, development and technology and 5170 5100 so I'm sorry, 51,781 IT freelancer engaged in exporting IT services through various digital platforms. So uh, from Nepal, like we have uh, uh, industries like companies which pro provide customer service and like uh, troubleshooting stuff and all to the other companies abroad. So uh, it was the other uh, stat it showed and like uh, since 2021 our growth was 64.2 percent that's like big big achievement after like a COVID crisis because during the time of COVID uh, uh, so everything was closed and like uh, we are quite uh, introduced to like digital world and like people were doing freelancing and like it opened the like COVID crisis opened the door for uh, people to look out for alternatives so people were looking for job opportunities and everything online so that might be the other reason for this exponential growth so now I like to get into WordPress community in Nepal so we have five major communities in five major cities of the country five metropolitan cities so that's WordPress Kathmandu that's capital city of Nepal the other one is WordPress Pokhara that's my hometown and then the other one is WordPress Bharatpur WordPress Biratnagar and WordPress Butol so altogether we have more than 20,000 people using WordPress in Nepal professionally. Uh, but then like if we consider bloggers and like those people who use for uh, other purposes, it, the count might go 50,000 plus. Uh, and we have 5,000 plus community member, active community member who involved into uh, like um, word camps and meetups and everything. So five WordPress communities, as I have already mentioned about it. So we do 60 plus meetups every year uh, uh, within like five different communities. And we have five WordCamp every year. And on top of that, we do WordCamp Nepal once in every year. So last time we had, we organized WordCamp Nepal. So we had like participants, more than 600 people partic participated in that event. And like we are organizing next WordCamp in 2024 January, and we are expecting around 1,000 people to attend the seminar from all, of, all across the world. So like as I have already mentioned, we have very limited access to infrastructure, technology, innovation, research, and everything. So these three people were the one who started a WordPress in Nepal. So uh, uh, they are like late Ujjal Thapa. So we lost him during the time of COVID, but he, his contribution and like efforts and everything made uh, our community grow this uh, uh, in this exponential way. So other uh, person was Chandra Maharjan and Sakin Shrestha. They started WordPress community in Nepal during 2007, just after three years of, uh, just after four years WordPress was created. So I just have like a little timeline to show the figures, how we started and how we are continuing the community in Nepal despite having very less people, very limited resource, very small economy, and global south very far from like latest technology trend and everything. So uh, in 2003, WordPress was released. And then in 2004, Chandra started using WordPress because he was residing in uh, America. So he got uh, into uh, WordPress and like he got uh, uh, familiar with a blogging tool and everything. So he was the first person to use WordPress in like, uh, in a, uh, it is documented, like we might, there might be other person as well, but then so far we know in our community he is the guy who started using WordPress back in 2004. And during 2007, there was like Digital Mac Solution uh, is like one of the first IT company from Nepal, and it, it was uh, from like early 2000, like it was IT community was started in Nepal during like uh, beginning of 2000. So in 2000, Digital Max Solution started commercial use of WordPress. So they started using WordPress for their clients. Uh, where uh, Ujjal Thapa, Sakin, and Chandra, the three guys I showed in my previous slide, they were working as an employee there. So in 2011, Chandra and Sakin attended 
two different word camps. So it was like their first ever word camp. So Chandra attended word camp San Francisco 2011, and Sakin attended word camp Melbourne 2011. So that is where they got the idea about uh, word camp, like how they, they can organize the event, and then like uh, benefits and everything about word camp. So they decided, decided to uh, formally formed WordPress Nepal community, and it was formed in uh, 2011. So uh, they went to different uh, schools, institutions, and like different companies, and like gathered people who were interested um, uh, uh, in like contributing to the community and like uh, to make it a platform to learn. So uh, it was in 2011. So after that, in 2012. First ever WordCamp Nepal was hosted in Kathmandu city, the capital of Nepal. Uh, over 130 WordPress enthusiasts attended the event. Uh, and there was a surprise online visit from Matt, the co-founder of WordPress. Uh, and Flip was there from Automatic, so he went there uh, to address the community there, since it was like our first ever uh, WordCamp event happening in, in our country. So 2013 onward, multiple WordCamp Nepal, WordCamp Pokhara, Kathmandu, Bharatpur, Biratnagar, Butol has been organized. So we organize, as I have already mentioned, we organize at least five WordCamps every year. So companies like Thame Grill, Thame Palace, they are operating from Nepal and they are making revenues in millions of dollars. So ultimately benefiting developers, users, stakeholders, designers from Nepal, and ultimately um, contributing to the growth of community. And like this is the other way we are sustaining our community because whenever we organize some event and like whenever we uh, do meetups and everything, so companies like this they come forward and sponsor us so that we can uh, arrange this stuff. So uh, we have WordCamp deputies. We have a member from our community working as a WordCamp de a deputy. And like uh, WordCamp mentors, WordCamp Asia organizers as well. So like uh, every year we have four to five people in organizing committee of WordCamp Asia. So uh, uh, the, we consider that to be the growth as well. And we are looking forward to host WordCamp 26 or 27 if things go goes good or as expected. So in the present days, uh, this is the guy who is leading Word, Word, uh, WordPress community in Nepal. He was expected to uh, visit WordCamp Vancouver, but because of some uh, uh, visa issue and all, like he couldn't make it to it. But then he has been uh, doing a great job. So he has been mentoring WordCamps across Asia, WordCamp Thailand, uh, Islamabad, and uh, Bangalore. And like he, he has been mentoring five WordCamps simultaneously. Uh, so he till now, he has organized many WordCamps, many events, and like uh, he has visited a lot of WordPress communities ar around the globe. So, so that was all about the uh, size and like uh, the the distribution and the people behind uh, for WordCamp Community Nepal. So, uh, we have been using WordCamp Community Nepal for the platform for uh, knowledge sharing. So, I have. I mentioned time and again that we have limited resource and like limited people and limited uh, skilled resource in fact so wordcamp has been wordpress community has been knowledge sharing platform for like uh, people coming from every background not necessarily just the wordpress like some designers some content writers small business owners or maybe we can say like but lately we have been collaborating with flutter community and uh, even other communities as well so that we can grow together uh, and like uh, sometimes it is very uh, tough to uh, get quality education and access to uh, tech colleges because we have very limited colleges and uh, education is privatized in my country. So not every time we get to, uh, not every time everyone uh, get to go to school because it is very expensive. Uh, I was lucky enough to uh, afford it. So. Uh, uh, I'm sustaining my life through the skill set I got from uh, tech, but then like not everyone is lucky enough. But then we have been using our community as a free resource center where everybody can come. We have a meetup location. So once in every month, uh, we do rotation among IT companies. So I have IT company with my friends and uh, one of my lecture. So um, we have a conference hall. So for a month, I sponsor food and uh, a venue. 
so that way like everybody can come there like uh, new students from tech colleges like uh, any enthusiast they can come to my office and use the space and like have coffee tea or like uh, meet with uh, professional people so they so that they can learn stuff so we have been volunteering in that way so uh, in other word wordpress community nepal is a platform for knowledge sharing so people can share whatever they know and like uh, it's a, a part of core learning stuff so other thing is networking opportunity so uh, we use wordpress nepal as a networking opportunity because uh, as i have mentioned earlier not only people doing wordpress but also the other platform as well uh, so they come uh, to our community and we visit their community so uh, it's been a networking platform and networking opportunity as well so skill development obviously so every time we organize word camp so we do two, uh, multiple days word camp so all the time we make sure to have contribution day whenever we organize word camp so people contribute in translation and like people uh, uh, respond to forum questions and like uh, theme review plugin review and everything so all the time we make sure to have contribution day so that people can uh, feel uh, ethical obligation i will I would love to say it ethical obligation or ethical responsibility. Uh, given that we have been uh, making living and we have been using the platform for uh, business purposes and like for growing our skill set and for uh, going out to the uh, competitive market. So Word, Word, WordPress has given us a lot. So uh, it's our legal obligation to give back to the community. So I'll talk about that later on. And support and troubleshooting, uh, obviously. So whenever somebody is working in a project and like they need some some sort of support and troubleshooting, so people will come out and like uh, those who have expertise in support and everything, they will come out voluntarily and they support each other so that we can grow together. So that has been very successful in our community as well. And uh, promotion of open source, obviously. So I have already mentioned about uh, limited access again. So open source would be a very uh, good uh, scope for uh, people and like uh, countries struggling with innovation and everything because uh, it might be very um, uh, weird. It might sound very weird and very strange that we don't even have digital pay payment gateway yet in Nepal. So I can buy anything online from outside the country. We don't have visas. We have visa, but then within debit only. So it is applicable only in Nepal. So if I want to purchase something, there is no way I can purchase it. And like because of economic issue, while I visited here, I was allowed to uh, carry only $200 with me. So. Yeah, while I was paying $200 to Sandman uh, in, I forgot the name, the, the area, so for one night it was $200, but my government have permitted me to carry only $200 because it's uh, our financial policy. You can't take money outside the country because we are struggling with the money and we have very, uh, very small uh, uh, foreign currency drop. Uh, because of a pandemic, because of earthquake, blockade, and like uh, inflation and everything going on, war and everything going on. So we are really struggling with our f uh, finance. So yeah, so that's the scenario. Because whenever I need to buy some course from Udemy or Coursera or something, I just rely upon uh, uh, financial aid. Like sometimes they luckily approve it, but not every time. So. Uh, yeah, we have very basic resources. Like I have been making websites uh, since my high school, so it's been like while I was in class ten. So I built a um, website using Waves platform. I, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar about it. It was before WordPress, uh, and then like I made a site for my school, and then like that is how I started. And later on, I switched to WordPress because I loved the community, and it, it was very accessible. So. Yeah, every time I would call my uncle living in America to pay some amount for me so that I could buy some course or sometimes maybe buy some plugin or yeah, that is how we have been doing. And like luckily, uh, a lot of people they live uh, abroad and like remittance is one of our major source of income in the country. So. Uh, 
uh, almost everybody, they have somebody living abroad, uncle or like cousin or something. So that has been really helpful as well. <laughs> so yeah, so till now, till the date, we don't have PayPal is illegal, Bitcoins is illegal, and like we don't have access to digital payment gateway. That's the other reason we have very limited. That's the other reason I, what I was trying to say is like we have very limited access. And then like job opportunity, obviously we have a lot of companies operating from Nepal. So mainly I have already showed you the figure about uh, total IT uh, export industry. So uh, people are being able to uh, trade their um, knowledge and skill set abroad uh, to get better uh, payment and like better income. So that is ultimately helping uh, community members to sustain themselves and then uh, maybe give back to the community so that other people can learn stuff as well. And then entrepreneurship, obviously. Uh, so whenever somebody is lucky enough to go to take a school and then get a degree, and then like uh, we, we don't have a lot of uh, companies hiring people, so we have like job scarcity, obviously. So uh, sometimes WordPress has been a, uh, a really effective platform to start your own uh, business sort of thing. Like uh, if you are good enough, like you might end up having a good client. And like uh, since it is open source and very accessible, uh, and it has community uh, which back up, which backs you up whenever you need any help or assistant. So uh, uh, like uh, for entrepreneurship also, it is really really uh, helping in Nepal. So uh, community engagement, obviously. So whenever we engage, uh, whenever we organize events and like seminars and everything so we don't just talk about technology or advancement like sometimes we just talk about mindfulness mental health supporting each other helping some people in need so uh, the guy I showed earlier late Ujjal Thapa so he was running a campaign called Bibek Seal Nepali that's like uh, Bibek Seal means uh, wisdom so yeah, it was some sort of uh, wisdom forum for Nepalese people where they can learn learn things and like meet people. So now every year we uh, we organize uh, different ca campaigns and events to uh, sustain his uh, campaign to donate his campaign. Uh, so we are continuing his campaign although he left us. Uh, so uh, that is how also like um, the community comes in. Uh, uh, action. So that's the other uh, benefit of having a community and closed circle. Closed circle open to everybody. So, so challenges like with every opportunities and every scenarios, there comes challenges. So limited infrastructure. So I don't think I need to explain further about it. I have said enough about having very limited infrastructures. So urban rural uh, digital divide because uh, majority of Nepali population, more than 70% Nepali population, they are from rural area uh, where people are still struggling with clean drinking water, uh, uh, like uh, latrine and like everything. So urban area has very uh, limited people living there with very high uh, income and like high uh, business uh, opportunities. So there is a very big gap between urban and rural population. So uh, that's a big uh, digital divide. Like while urban population is having really good uh, high speed internet and access to technology, latest trend and everything, like rural people are still struggling with having telephone connection um, and something like that. So that's the other challenge we have to uh, like uh, we have to overcome jointly. So uh, regulatory challenges, obviously, uh, given that we have very limited policies, law, and rules, uh, since there has not been a really a good breakthrough in innovation. So obviously, we have very limited uh, uh, regulatory challenges. So. Uh, uh, cyber security concerns, obviously, uh, it will connect to the limited infrastructures. Like uh, having said that we have limited infrastructure, cyber security is the other concern because it needs really good investment in like uh, uh, authorities uh, who can re regularly monitor the situation and like if somebody is found guilty or like similar situation, so they have to deal with his uh, stuff. But then we have uh, we don't have uh, that sort of uh, 
बॉडीज सो लैंग्वेज बैरियर ऑब्वियसली सो नेपाली लैंग्वेज इज आवर प्राइमरी लैंग्वेज मोर देन नाइन्टी पर्सेंट पीपल दे स्पीक नेपाली लैंग्वेज एंड रेस्ट अफ द पीपल दे स्पीक अदर सिक्सटी लैंग्वेज लाइक एथनिक वी हेव अ लट अफ एथनिक ग्रुप्स सो वी हेव इंडिजिनियस पीपल वी हेव डिफ्रेंट एथनिक पीपल सो इंग्लिश इज सेकेंडरी लैंग्वेज Uh, and like uh, since i went to private school i had like a better approach to english language because we used to have mathematics science in english so uh, i could learn better Uh, so uh, since every tech updates and everything is in english but then wordpress is the like other technology which can uh, which has a lot of plugins like multilingual plugin and everything and whenever we organize wordpress we do contribute sunday where people will translate um, uh, wordpress to nepali so that people can use it uh, freely like if you have language barrier also you will get to use it so ultimately making it more accessible and more inclusive so political instability i don't think i need to talk a lot about it because this is a global scenario now and like even that we have very uh, uh, we, we are still struggling with good education infrastructure roads bridges towers and also uh, i don't even feel like talking about it because we have had enough of this so digital payment gateway i have already mentioned about it we don't have like very legit digital payment gateway so access to capital so capital is in like funding so uh, we have very limited access to funding i am sorry funding because uh, people are yet to explore about the possibilities and like uh, Uh, uh possibilities of investing in tech industry and like uh, there has been some trust issue yeah so uh, people are struggling to uh, find some people who can invest on their uh, initiative or enterprise because they have already spent a lot of amount of money uh, to go to school and everything so say, once they are out of school uh, they either they have choice to find job where, where i have already mentioned we have very limited job available so if people want to start something on their own so not everybody is willing to invest on them let alone the government bodies and authorities or institution so that has been the other challenges so yeah so like every time i uh, go and meet uh, people from wordpress community i always want to like uh, i always like to talk about giving back to community wordpress has given us a lot of thing like i am here today because of wordpress i have been communicating with you people because of wordpress so that is the connecting dot and like it is open source and a lot of like millions of people are uh, benefited uh, using this people uh, are doing their business depending upon this whoever can't offered like um, big websites and web pages they can just go to wordpress and like make something on their own very easy very accessible it has a multilingual uh, services you you can access it using your own language if you have language barrier and then like uh, uh, wordpress has been uh, investing in communities uh, uh, building events uh, just like wordcamp meetups and everything so uh it is our league sorry it is our uh, ethical obligation to give uh, give back to the community so that uh, it can be the better platform it can grow more uh, exponentially so that more people can uh, get benefited from it and then like we can uh, get a better version of uh, wordpress every year so whenever whenever we talk about getting better version getting new updates and everything so it will come to our responsibility if we contribute if we regularly answer support uh, questions if we regularly write review for themes and plugin it will uh, uh, it will oblige them to uh, make a better version if we uh, find out bugs or anything about uh, the platform so it will make more safe uh, 
space for uh, like uh, for having very secure uh, infrastructures and everything. So uh, totally, it is our responsibility uh, to give back to the community, and like that is what I do whenever I have free time. So I also hope you guys are doing the same uh, because uh, that's our responsibility, and that's going to benefit us ultimately. So that is all for me. So if you have any questions, uh, you can ask me. OK. Um, are online courses, I don't hear, you know, take uh, WordPress courses online kind of certified, validated by other people or companies here? And if all of that also takes or they're more, you have to take a um, course in a university for it to be for uh, credit, uh, normally, like we have limited uh, in universities, but then like uh, even my degree, it is from London Metropolitan University. So we have a college affiliated to LMU. So I went to that school, uh, but then uh, um, our government bodies they want us to make that equivalent to uh, Nepal's university's degree. That's three one university. That is our government university. So I had to uh, give certain uh, examination and like. Uh, get the license and make it equivalent. Uh, but then like, online course creation, like, uh, uh, we don't have a lot because uh, they don't recognize a lot of online degrees. But then uh, sometimes if we look out for job and like if somebody are looking for it, uh, they consider it. But officially, uh, uh, we have like very limited scope on uh, getting uh, certified whenever we have on online uh, certificates or online degrees. Are you allowed to build WordPress sites, like a WooCommerce site, for a client outside of Nepal? Like, are you allowed to operate? Like, are you allowed to build it basically and set it up and you set up Stripe and set up all that? Yes, we are allowed to do that because whenever we receive payments, we can uh, receive it through wire transfer and it counts to the remittance or like foreign income and it goes through taxation policy. So we are allowed to do that. Within Nepal, we can buy because we have payment gateways uh, like Isewa, Khalti, and a lot of other mobile applications running within the country. So if I want to purchase within the country, I can do it easily. But whenever I want to buy uh, uh, services and like goods from outside the country, and whenever the transaction is in dollar, the currency, uh, that is restricted. Like hosting and stuff. Yeah, hosting and stuff. Yeah. So you have to host uh, we have option to host outside Nepal as well. Uh, the way I mentioned earlier about uh, getting help from your cousin or <laughs> uncle living abroad. But then we also do have uh, local hosting companies. But ultimately, uh, it is more like um, reseller hosting. So somebody managed it, manages to pay something outside, and then they uh, register the company within the country, and uh, they resell it. Even I used to do that yeah, yeah a couple of years ago. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, 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 if somebody manages to, as long as money is not going out, so that's not a big concern for my government, I guess, because yeah, instead of growing uh, resources, they are quite interested in uh, saving the resources. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so in that case, this is my hometown. Pokhara Valley. So this is Fewa Lake. That's the biggest lake in my city. So you'll have panoramic uh, Annapurna rains reflected upon the lake. So if you ever visit my city, so uh, we are hosting World Camp Nepal 2024. 
uh, 12 and 13 January. The first day will be the contribution day, and the second day will be uh, main event day. So site is live, but uh, tickets are not out yet. So uh, within a couple of weeks, we'll start selling tickets. So you are more than welcome to attend the event as a speaker, as a sponsor, attendee. Or like if not, then you can just visit our country, and you will get to see a lot of Himalayas, and like you will get to try a lot of authentic food, and like you will uh, get to explore the uh, then hippie trail, where a lot of celebrities went during 1970s. So uh, when the weed and everything was legal, um, now it is illegal. So yeah. <laughs> You can, so you can even visit Freak Street in Kathmandu. So like uh, people like I forget the name. A lot of celebrities. Uh, yeah, Bob Marley and like um, Guns and Roses. They used to be spotted in that Freak Street in Kathmandu city in their uh, uh, Mercedes vans. So back in 1970s. Like if you are interested about that, you can find the resources online. So yeah. So thank you. So everybody they are thanking people. So you can reach me to olabibek.com. So it doesn't link to me any Spanish language or something. I was just uh, finding alternative for hello Bibek. So it was already taken, so I just used Ola Bibek. <laughs> and <laughs> everywhere, my email address, my social media, everywhere you will find the same name and same photo, most, mostly. I like to keep it simple and like identical. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Vancouver. Thank you, community, for having me here. I, I'm really enjoying uh, uh, talking about the community, and it is my humble request. Please uh, give back to the community because it has given us a lot. Thank you.